Yay! Dun, dun, dun. STS is here. Look at this. Hey, welcome, y'all. Damn. It's been <laughs> this month. It's been a damn December. We didn't do nothing, but here we are back again. Uh, this is In the Zone Wrestling Podcast 2006. That's, I don't know what episode we're on, so I'm just going to start a new kind of way of format. I'm just going to call this, let's go in the wrestling zone, or in the zone wrestling podcast, just the dates on it. Like the date, so the reason it doesn't matter or anything. Or I can start 001 again. I don't know, it doesn't matter, I'll figure out something. But uh, we are back, and well, actually, well, it's just myself here. I'm your host, STS, San Jose Land. this is in the zone wrestling podcast, and uh uh, annoying Zach was going to be here. Well, first of all, I want him to be in person to do it, but then he got bronchitis, and then I was going to do it on Skype, but he's not really feeling well or whatnot. And I was trying to do the phone idea, but he's not, and also he's not going to go. He's not feeling good, so that's going to be the bummer. That is a bummer. I think that is a damn bummer. But. Get well, annoying Zach, and if annoying Zach's not gonna be at the show, that's gonna be very weird. Without annoying Zach to be there, but we'll have fun, regardless. And uh, but let's just get, let's get started. You know, uh, the NWO page we do nothing for a month, and that that must seem long. And I got sick, or I, got, I had a bunch. I was doing a lot of pain at the end of the month. Uh, but uh, let's just see this right here. Uh, Saturday, January 9th, 2016, the first show of the year. Uh, Boys and Girls Club at the Grand County, Indiana, 3402 South Meridian Street, Marion, Indiana. All tickets just $10 at the door or buy pre-sales for $8 at Lance's New Market. 1555 Southwestern Avenue, Marion, Indiana. Doors open at 6 p.m., bill time open at 7 p.m., card subject to change. And uh, I haven't got my tickets yet, and I need to get my tickets. I, sh- I need them now. Cause it's Wednesday here, and uh, but uh, yeah, return of the juice. Let's just talk about the the poster up here, so I can just give thoughts out here. The uh, oh, the big thing is Hubertu Guerrero will be here. Uh, we, well, yeah, Hubertu Guerrero will be back, and this he's coming back. He's back, and. Uh, I mean, it's, I mean, Hubert Tugger is great to see. If you haven't seen him or anything, the Jews, it's pretty good to see him. Um, but, I mean, he needs, uh, in my opinion now, we can go here, he's going to, I hope he gets, he drops the belt. I think what they should do, get like a fatal forward, but then again, they, they want to make him pin, they want, well, it doesn't really matter, I don't think he would mind if him taking the fall, or disqualification maybe, not clean, I mean, that would be the good, but then he get that like a three triple threat. Like if you had Lennox King versus Troy Miller versus him versus Matt Creed or Matt Creed or whatever. I mean, I don't think he would want to put him like he wanted to take him had the fall. But then again, it doesn't matter. Uh, but he's coming back, and I hope he drops it. I mean, just he loses the belt, get to someone else. Uh, who else is on here? We have Celine Gray on here. She's gonna be there. It's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, you're the chairman, JKL. JKO. <laughs> Man, he's gonna be so pissed when he comes out of the ring. He's gonna come out with a thing. <laughs> his chair is a good man. He's he's a good he's good with the heat. <laughs> he throws that chair and he slaps it on the ground like he's Christian, having a temper tantrum back back in the day. But um, he's on the he's good though. Troy Miller, congrats to Troy Miller actually. Well, a while ago he had a baby boy, and uh, Brody is a new future champion on the way. And that's Bruiser Brody Miller. That uh, was just a name. Bruce or Brody Miller, uh, but Ramo will be there. We don't know what he's gonna be in for that night, but he will be there. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be good. It's gonna be good to see Troy again wrestling in action. I did see his last match with the online. It was online with him against Drew Skills, and yeah, I mean I like Drew and 
Detroit, but I wasn't really a fan of that of that match. But it's all right. But he'll be there. Hunadehu. I can't say his name. Or I think he's still the United States champion. Isn't that? I think he is. Yeah, he's the United States uh, champion and uh, awesome guy. I, I, I enjoy him. He, like I said before, in an earlier podcast, the uh, he was wearing a crow shirt. It can't rain, it can't rain all the time, and I enjoyed that. I thought, I thought it was cool, and he was. Just, oh, excuse me, Bob. Sorry about that. <laughs> knocked, iPhone knocked out, but uh, next we have. But he's been pretty cool to see. He's awesome. Uh, we got the new. Uh, we have a couple returns here, or where is she? Uh, what the, Dun, 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 dun. Ingrid Isley makes her return to ICW Pro January 9th. What are my thoughts? I don't I mean the way she looks. She looks, she wears like a uh, a Satan or sa sa Satan like backwards like lingerie kind of thing. I don't know. She's pretty. She's pretty attractive. She looks like she cried a little bit in this picture here, but she's pretty. She's pretty. She's, she's cute. Am I excited? I, mean, I don't care. It's her. She's pretty cool. Let's see what she does to me. We had the. Uh, we had the. Uh, the Literaza, which they didn't put <laughs> Sid Page on there, which is kind of disappointing. Yeah, which, uh, yeah, because I think there's, there's one person in here that shouldn't have to be, well, actually two of them, or, I don't know, <laughs> I, I'll talk about it in a minute, but they shouldn't have to be in the poster, I don't know, but Yvla Raza, the tag team champions, when are they going to get those new belts, I saw online, they have new belts that they're having, Intense Championship Wrestling, which I think they should, because their belts they've had looked like, I don't know, I think you guys should do donate those belts to somebody. But uh, Laraza's there. Let's see if they want to kill or not. Beat the hell out of somebody. Uh, Johnny Plex and I'll be able to. Then we have uh, Lone Wolf. What was this? John Wolf or Jonathan Wolf? Or I forgot. But Lone Wolf is a. He's a pretty damn good young. Con but he's a co pretty cool young contender. He's awesome, and he's young. He's good, you know. But, uh, yeah, we got him. Then you got the guy who... Why is he even in here? I don't... I mean, I don't know. You got... You got the prophet, Rick Craig, on here. Which, I mean, or whatever... <laughs> You got him on here. I mean, why is he on here for? <laughs> but he's on there. And then you got Matt Creed, which maybe he'll be a, a more contender for the title. I don't know. Lennox King, a, a yoga pants. Then El Gavion, which don't really care for El Gavion or whatever. Don't care. Sorry. Not a fan. And then you got Pooh Bear himself. You got Artie the Gut McKidwell. Which he's not even looking at the camera at all. So that's the map, but also, and I seen on on their face on their Facebook. This was on November sixteenth. The Mid Ohio Stretching Crew will make their ICW debut on JDR and not. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. Oh man, the Mid Ohio Stretching Crew. I think I, the guy in the left. I don't know who they're. I don't know who they are. The guy in the left looks like a sh Stone Cold Sheamus. Is the way I think he's actually. I think he's wrestled here before. He wrestled in January, maybe. I don't know. Then the other guy looks like my friend Sean, Kryptonite. <laughs> but there's that's they, they're debuting, and then you can see my comment on it. Who's this team? Uh we got okay. Probably, we have also good, great. We uh, we have some good news too. The elite, yes, I said the elite will be back in ICW. Which you know what I mean. I know people say, oh, you put you get them over because they're their friends or whatnot. 
Yeah, I, you know, there are my friends, but the thing is, though, I haven't se- we haven't seen them since. I don't remember the last show. Well, the last show I saw them at, or me and K Dog and Mr. B saw them at, was in Kokomo at the Double ACW show. And uh, it's gonna be great to see the Elite now because it's been so long. I think the last time we saw them, I don't know where it was. This looks pretty badass right here. Chance Chance Profit will make his ICW debut soon, which that's kind of sucky because it just says soon, which we won't know if they're gonna be. He's gonna be there. There's an, and then we have the Heretics Kovat. Who the hell are these guys? And then you'll see the tag team of the Viking War Party. The American Viking and the Littlest Viking will make their ICW real soon. So I don't know if that's this. That's just. It's coming up for January or those are just debuts. But that's all I know right now. Well, that's all I know for ICW. Uh, Return of the Juice. Um, just, we don't know you. And then maybe, because maybe there'll be more news ahead. That's not going to be on, that you can't, I'm not going to talk about it on the podcast because it'll be on Facebook the next day. They might update their account. So, this is talking about what's on there now. Um, my thoughts, I mean, of going into this event, I mean, I missed this. Here's my conclusion. Just my, what am I excited? Because December, I was born to do, we did enough in the NWO podcast. I mean, the thing. I mean, we had, uh, I mean, Bray talking about the game, which which is still up and deholded because we need some help, some wrestlers' help or whatnot. We got uh, we're not doing the podcast, but so we know I've been doing I've been watching more video movies, doing some movies on my uh, face, my YouTube account, and uh, I've been doing some other podcasts. It's on my like online on face on my YouTube, and uh, but I was it was. It sucks because I can't do the in the I can't talk about ICW or anything. But then again, we had our month break, and you guys had your uh, month your uh, no show in December for the holidays. And uh, I'm really excited. I'm really pumped. You know, uh, uh, it might suck if annoying Zach can't show up because you know how it's going to be so weird of no annoyingness. But I'm still there, so I'm no I'm somewhat annoying. And yeah, that's all I guess say here. Um, I I mean, the only one, just I don't know why. Rick Craig is on there, on that poster, but he can be on there if he wants to, but I would be the Sharpie. You know, why don't you get Zane on there? Put him on, he's the ring announcer. Well, he wasn't last time. But, uh, that's all I got to really say. There's nothing really to hate on or nothing. I'm just like, pumped and excited. Uh, well, I mean, it's, I'm going to be, uh, but thinking right now, I do... I want you guys to know, well, I probably heard it, did in interviews, and the recap probably, but I'm going to start doing more videos, more fan cam footage at the ICW Pros uh, events. I want to get fan cam footage, I want to just get this, try to get this company put over more, you know, I just, that's how I want to do, I want to help out with the company. I just want to get. I mean, I put on YouTube. You know, I did these last matches, and uh, the the camera the, for the camera on this because you know the you, all these videos you see is on my iPhone. Now I might do some things with the iPhone. The thing is, though, here's a question: If you guys, if if you guys, if you hear this and know the answer, guys or whatnot, I want to know is uh, I want I have a camcorder. I have my little. I, I, yeah, I have my camcorder now. And I wanted to record matches. I wanted to record your guys' match, whatever, every match. The thing is, though, I want to have the entrances involved. But the thing is, though, I know some people come out with, you know, like copyright music or whatnot. I don't want to, yeah, I want to film it. But when you guys come out, I mean, that's the only thing's going to suck is the, uh, like, the sounds. I mean, the thing is... Would you guys mind? I mean, if I don't have to record the entrances or whatnot, I, that's what I usually do. It doesn't remind me. It's just I usually start the matches when they start out. I don't put the entrances or anything, you know, because I really don't want to. I was going to do all separate videos of entrances at ICW and then just do the matches one by one. That's what I wanted to do. So I would like to, if someone give me your opinion, what would be good? Because if, like you say, hey, I think. You should have like. Do you like the? Do you like me doing the videos with just no entrances at all, or you want me to try? Or I can do separate entrances videos of just people them coming out like saying, "Oh, the elite. Here's the elite, elite, the elite entrance. ICW Pro uh, 
Return of the Jews. That's what or ICW Pro, Return of the Jews. Or any or everybody, it doesn't matter. All the people come out, I'll just do a separate video of their entrance or whatnot. But then again, nah, because never mind, because I'm I'm doing it as a fan here. Because I'm not like following them like they're going to the ring and stuff, you know. I'm not doing that because I'm not with the company. I don't know. I don't have the upreach for that. But then again, I want to do it in the fan cam way because I'm just right there, you know. So, but yeah, I will just do that because I want. I'm doing the fan cam way, and uh, yeah, I, that's what I like doing. I want to get, get. I'm gonna get more videos too because I have no. The bad thing though about this, I mean, I wish I had a laptop or a netbook, and then I'll be. I'll be uploading more videos on here. But at the moment, I don't have money for a netbook or anything, and what? And I probably wouldn't be doing this. I'll still be doing this on the iPhone if I had. I didn't have my camcorder idea because I had. I my camcorder is good. It's just I have no uploading software or anything. But I went. I go to the library in town and do it. I mean, it's still. I have to go there still, but it works out, you know. It's been a while since I had a laptop to do that stuff, but it's good though. I mean, it, and also fast upload times, and I can't wait for that. So I'll be, I'll be uploading some of that. And that's what I've been doing. That's what's been keeping me not saying, getting away from my negative depression I've been dealing with in life, and just watch movies and whatnot. And, I mean, I, I would like to hang out with people more, but you know, I just chilled at home. I mean, I'm not antisocial. Well, I am, you know, I'm not, I just, I like people going up to me, hey, what's up, Slam, what's up, STS, how you been, how's your day, then I'll talk, because it's just, now you open me, and I'm comfortable to talk, because you started the conversation, but, it's going good, guys, and uh, I, I'm going to get off here, and return the juice, Saturday, January 9th, and also, let's get the little shout-outs here, we got a shout-outs for the, uh, for shows coming up, we have the Circle City Wrestling, which is the day after. Uh, yeah, we can do that here. To my uh, Circle City Wrestling, yeah. January 10th, the day after ICW Pro uh, Return of the Jews, go to a nurse show. It is the, I don't know what show it's called, but it's going to star as Championship Wrestling Live, Sunday, January 10th, with the NW World Champion, Jax Dane. Iron Man, dude, time WWE World Champion, Iron Man, Rob Conway, WWE and NWO legend, Road Warrior Animal once again, Mr. Anderson, Drew Skills, Bad Blood returns once again, pretty good athlete, NWA uh, Circle City Wrestling Champion, TV Champion, Dallas Dotson, then Lone Wolf, you got Lone Wolf there, you got Zodiac, I think, or that's Chris Owens, or wherever his face is, yeah, that's... What's his dumb face with Zodiac? Then you got Wilma Wilkins and them, and Demi Wilkins and uh, Apollo Star against J.K.O. and Kevin Robinson for the titles. German hosted by Jimmy E. Jam. German Park at the Turtle Burning, eight six hundred South Marion Street, Indianapolis, Indiana four six two one seven. Ticks will be available at the door. Adults twelve fifty. Kids nine fifty. Six for twelve. Children five and under are free. Doors open at four thirty p.m. Show starts at six p.m. Save two dollars and fifty cents and get tickets and events at the South Side Flea Market. Twitter at NWA hyphen whatever. To, I mean uh, NWA underscore CCW. Like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Circle City Wrestling. So get the whole up on them. Um, that uh, I mean I'm. I wouldn't drive there. I mean, I would go there for free because when I helped out with Burnt, when I helped out with uh, Wilco's, B. Wilco's, and did referee, it went not referee, did security. I thought it was awesome. It was pretty good there, but I was still kind of uh, just shy of to go up there. Even when we got subs, it's just I'm just a security, you know. But people you can just look at people like fans who are just not into that. But I mean, I I enjoyed it. You know, I wish people would come up to me, but I'm not famous. You know, I'm not anything. But uh, shot him out and. Uh, there's going to be something going on in March. South Bend, supposedly. I don't know the whole detailed stuff, but uh, shout out to all those people in that show. When it, when that, when, if that happens, if that, if I'm going to be doing that, but there'll be a lot of footage there just putting everybody over. So, But I'm STS here, and you just got done listening to the In The Zone Wrestling Podcast. We'll see you at ICW Pro Return of the Juice.